Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our Let's Play of Crestorio 2, where we last episode just got this very nice science setup up and running. So um, first things this episode, let's just hook up a bit more to get researched. Uh, there's no reason not to do it. Um, so we have a ton of things we can do. I kind of want to get some uh, some bullet damage done before um, the biters get here. Maybe also get... Oh, we should probably get some steel as well. So I think that will be needed very soon. Uh, let's just hook this up to get researched. So we have something running. Yeah. We have something cute now. Hopefully that will uh, serve us well in the future. So for this episode, we kind of have to uh, start to set up our green science. Not sorry, it's not green science, green circuits first and then green science afterwards. So in preparation for this episode, I did change a few things or I did make a new blueprint. Uh, this was our old uh, rubber port blueprint. I just added um, some more poles to them all so we can uh, stamp it down without having to worry about power connecting up. So uh, this should uh, work as uh, intended, make getting power to all sides. So um, let's just use that one to expand down one more and get everything uh, moved out correctly. So in with you and out with that one. There we are. So let's just get our robots, uh, give our robots some time to clear this out. And um, while we're doing that, we can add a few more of these if we want to. But then we can uh, start to look at our green circuit production. So all in all, it's an extremely simple setup. Not uh, that many things different compared to uh, a normal one. Uh, one of the only things that's different is that we have our double or one more input we need. Normally it's just iron and copper, but in Crestorio we need wood as well. So um, what if we just planned out right here and move it down here when uh, these are done moving things. So we need one, two, we need the green circuits and we need copper wire. That's pretty much the ratio we need them in. Uh, four every two seconds makes two electronic circuits. So um, to get one a second, not that we need that, but to get the perfect ratio, we will need to um, to get one copper wire a second. This one produces four a second. So we should be able to do um, two to one. So one of these, two of these. So what if we just line that up? I want to clear out some of these trees so we can actually see something. Or we can just move it afterwards. So it should be one, two, two. Maybe like that to make it look somewhat good. And then can we, with the undergrounds we have, I can't remember. We can do something like this to get the, the what's called copper running below this one instead of up top to minimize a bit of the requirements or space requirements at least. Uh, for this one, we would pretty much just do direct insertion and then have, uh, if we do a split belt running at one a second, then we need one a second, that means we can support 15 if we do one full belt, seven and a half if we do half belts. So what if we do full belts in but that would give us a full belt out uh, when running. So we could do belt, belt, belt. Yes, yeah, so if we do one full belt in of uh, wood and iron, we can do one full belt out of uh, electronic circuits when we're running at one per second. So what if we just do, oh, we'll do one, two, and then we need a third one to output it on. It is possible to do, will it look Good is another thing we have to 
remember. Oh, we could do this. Ah, that could be a good idea. What if we do this? Let's take our undergrounds and jump from here to here, to here, and do the same on this one. Because then we can steal copper from right here and we can steal one of the ones for this one. Something like that. I think that could be a somewhat good setup. Uh, we might need to get uh, faster inserters. Pretty much go and get our, um, what's it called, next tier ones that are just right here. We actually can research them. That might actually be a good idea because I think we will need that for this one. So do something like this to do a different kind of setup than I have that I haven't done before. I think it could be quite cool. Because then we can remove or pretty much make one of these being the output. One of them being the input for the woods. And uh, just output directly onto this belt with long-handed. So you'll do out, out, and in, in. What is that? Will that be a, diff a good setup? You can try build it like this and see how it goes. Um, let's just clear out a bit of trees. I want it to be in this cell by itself. Please help clear out this. We have so many trees to cut down. And this is also one of the reasons why I enjoy having robots in the beginning. Because chopping this down by hand would be uh, a quite annoying task that I don't really feel like doing. And I would rather show you different things. So what if we take this? Please copy you to just... You can start right here. We can always move it in the future. Do that. Do that. There we are. Get some belts flowing this way. And that is pretty much the setup. Uh, let's just get you deconstructed. So what we need in is copper plates. We'll need in... You could take the wood up here. And then we could drag in iron down here instead. And we can output on this side or we can just do directly onto the belt like this. Um, if we wanted to, it might be good doing it on the side so we can uh, expand it further down. But um, since we don't have more rooms than this to work in, I think, I think this will be good enough uh, to support what we need until we get better belts. So let's try and just keep this and then do it flipped on the opposite side and then save a bit of on the underground. So let's clear out you as well so we can actually get in the things we need. Please get you away as well. That'll be fine. Here is our cover. And then we just need the wood. From right here. That we luckily have quite a bit of. Do this and jump you. And then you can go straight here. So that is that. And as soon as we can get some more green circuits, we can start to uh, get some more robots down to help us clear this up because it does take a little while for them to do this. So let's power it first. Power, power. That was way easier than I thought. That is fine. There we go. That is working. And are we able to just stamp that one right next to it? We need one in between. But that is fine for me. So we actually just need to do that. And that should make this thing entirely modular. Pretty much just continuing onwards. I think that's going to be a cool setup. I'm at least going to be quite pleased with it as is. 
What we could do if we wanted more copper in, if this is not fast enough, I think we could do a splitter here instead. Because then I have the plan of doing something like this, just to show what my thinking. Because then we can have a second one going in, like that, without uh, interfering with the, the blueprint size. But let's try without that, because we should be getting fast inserters uh, very soon. And then we shouldn't be needing it. What is this? Rare mater materials. Oh, sorry, rare metals. So we'll kind of be going above that one. Oh, that's actually quite good for mining. We can just kind of skip uh, building anything here. So that is good. So let's take in wood and uh, and things we should be able to start it right here I think can we just go this way instead we we'll want you to be the copper and then we'll do what might below let's see here Incoming woods. There we go. And you can go that way. We'll just flip you around. And then we'll want the copper coming in as well. So this will be our copper line. Yeah, let's just do this for now. We can just switch it around in a bit. And. There we go, that's copper and wood. Wood needs to go in here. That should be going that way, that should be going that way. So that is getting most of what we need. Cost not fast enough, but uh, that we will solve very soon. Then we'll need this part here to go there. And then we have an output of uh, Electronic circuits going the other way to go on to the main bus. There we are. And that should be everything we need to, uh, to activate our electronic circuits, getting a lot more of those. Go, go, little robots. Maybe take out these trees as well. And fix our main bus now that you're at it. Just get that away. There we go. Let's see if it works. Then we can expand it out. And in theory, we could just do the opposite side when we get down here. We could also get it to do both sides because we do have our drop near, drop far. But let's see how this goes first. But look at that. Things are moving along. This should be able to keep up with the throughput. Seems to be the case. Can this one keep up with the input? Hopefully. But there we are. That is green circuits. Automated. And things are slowly getting built. Not enough storage. That should be fine in just a minute. So that is that. Uh, let's skip the sentinels maybe. But that is our green circuits. Let's just make it so we have it on the opposite side as well. Going on this belt. So can we just take you and flip you? Something like that. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. It lines up nicely. We'll just have to change this little part to that part and then we just need oh wait oh yeah never mind we just need to change these as well so you'll be grabbing and you'll be outputting and then the rest will get flown in and built as we go so would you look at that that is so good uh, we could do a little build balancer here, uh, just to save ourselves a bit of hassle in the future. 
Can we just fit it in? Might just run out of room for it. Oh well, we'll just do this. Oh, what happened to our power? What? Did our uh, coal run out? Okay. Yeah, steam engines at least went to zero. <laughs> um, I'm guessing... No, because we should... Oh wait, are we running out of coal? Is that, is it that seriously? That we didn't have enough throughput on the coal with these miners? No, we have 17k. We do have coal running up here. So why ain't you working? Water is... It's just because we're charging things. Yeah, the robot charging cut the power. Which is actually uh, a bit annoying. To be honest, one thing we should probably do to fix that. I'll just go over here and grab one solar. That will power this one. And then we should never run into that issue. To be honest, that is a quite good idea. A good way to do it. To be honest, so you'll just get... Here is some um, wind for you. That should always make sure you're activated as soon as we give it you some power. Let's just make sure you're not connected up to the same network. Otherwise, that would be uh, quite silly. But there we are. Now power will never run out. And this won't work forever. Oh, wait. How much water are you pumping out? 120. But this only consumes 50. So it means the ratio is a bit differently. That means instead of doing 20, we can do 24. And this only consumes... What? Oh, oh yeah, it consumes the same, but then we can do 24. I wonder why they changed the ratios. So now it's 24 instead. We will look at that in the future. It seems like uh, we did balance or change a few things looking at this. Uh, while we're here, let's just look. Everything is going up. I don't think we need... We could add these just to... Um, to iron, so it doesn't run out. Let's do... that. And then we can pick up all of this junk if we wanted to clear this up. Because the miners are a bit annoyed about it. Or the drones are at least. Let's pick this up. Well, it seems a lot of the coal got dropped in between the machines when... Uh, when I did the drop function. I actually didn't know that was uh, an option. Oh, too much junk. Uh, Let's just drop you in here, so I don't have to worry about you in the future. There we are, and let's grab you. And let's clear up this little coal mess we have here, so it looks nice and clean. I'm just holding the F key, if you didn't know how to pick up uh, things off the ground. And here are some for you as well. And that is looking much better. So now we can leave that to do their thing. This is easily keeping up with our current uh, production and needs. Let's just throw this into some chests, all of this junk. Could just do that. Oop. Do that, and here are some for you as well. And all the coal. Let's just drop it into these, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Just one stack for me. And drop this in. It's always nice having a bit of... Uh, space management going on so that is that 
this is all being built. We still have a little surplus of green circuits. Could get it up with the with the main bus now instead of crafting it here. But uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, should we have a, add a few more laps? Five, one, two, three, four, five. If we add ten, oh, let's do this instead. Sorry, let's get all these removed and just grab some from there. Eight. There we go. Ten more. That should uh, increase the speed a bit, and that is exactly what I want. Because we do have more than enough production. So why don't we just take you, please? I'd like to double you to right there. And that's the rest of them activated. Hopefully we can move it fast enough so we don't just move things down here that can't uh, produce. Because that can be a, um, a thing you have to worry about if you make it too long. That some of these first ones will just keep moving things. So that was great. That was the next part of what we need to make. Do we need this one? Not terribly. We have most we need. We probably need fluid chemistry. So we can go into this and start to mine or oh, process oil. So let's just grab these two to have something going and set up plastic as well. So that is going now, that's consuming. I'll just go up and set up a few, um, or a better, what's called, inserters in our mall. Um, they're not needed yet, but I don't want to be limited by something as simple as that. So please craft these. We need steel. Uh -huh. So, um, Steel seems to be something we have to work towards as well. Iron plate and coke. How do we get coke? Wood and coal. Hmm. So that's a lot of things. I'm thinking about making it at our um, array up here. Because we get both things in from this one, we'll just have to do a double line to get steel on the belt. At least that uh, raw steel being processed here. So yeah, that's something we'll have to look at very, very soon. While that's going, we'll just let this run. We'll expand this out. Or at least get this built done. I completely forgot that we hadn't finished it. Uh, before we continue. So I should be able to steal this part. Just to line things up. Right here. Of course we will have to switch around so we have... Uh, oh, wait, oh yeah. So we have uh, wood on the inside. And coal on... No, it doesn't really matter. What if we just do this and hook it up? I think it will be fine. There we go. You can go down this way as well. We have this going in. Just needing these two things that are flowing in at a nice pace now. Giving us green circuits. So that is not too shabby. So that is green circuits being produced both sides of the belt. Almost at least. There we go. Going in. Oh, we're missing... No. Oh wait, we do need to change this around. It has to be on the opposite side. Because it has to be in here, the wood. So please take 
this part. Line you up right here instead. Switch you around to be one of these instead. There we are. All you would can change a bit to there. Go in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You'll have to go down a bit as well then. Uh, yeah, you'll have to go down one so it lines up out there instead. Here and there we go. That will just jump this little gap. And then we'll have the wood go the rest. And then some of this can line up. There we are. So that is a bit better than we had before. You'll have to move. You're fine. And you'll jump from here to here. And there. Much better. So now it should be working. And we have changed up things to get twice the production. And if we wanted to, very much modular, just able to copy paste it over. Just like that. Ooh, look at that. Very, very sexy. Let's just do that to see it in action. Please robots, double this um, little setup. And let's see if we built everything correctly for this to work. Uh, I might. I am quite sure we did. Just getting in the last few things. And they are flying in right there. There we are. More greens flowing. And I think this is a rather good point to end this episode. Just getting our greens on the bus. And getting ready for um, doing our next science, our next text card, next episode. I think that will be, uh, be very, very good. So we can get this one researched and get even more research done. Uh, blasting through uh, the science tech. So um, thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you'll give me a like and subscribe. And then I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.